but bye, it's the remix. Cause ain't it Christmas? Just trapping through the snow. Selling nine half a bricks and four waves. Over the hills we go. Get an extendo and an eight. Alright, go to Santiana, I'm back with a video, ayy. I'm back with a video, ayy. I'm back with a video, ayy. I'm back with a video. <laughs> okay, so today's video, we're going to be talking about stuff you should ask for Christmas slash your birthday. Because we all know that everybody doesn't celebrate Christmas or get presents for Christmas. So... This can go into your birthday wish list or your Christmas wish list. Especially since I'm late and it's like the 21st or the 22nd. Probably going to go on your birthday wish list. But that's not a problem. So, the first thing, shoes. Shoes. So, you can get, okay, you can get all types of shoes. You can get cheap shoes. You get expensive shoes shoes can be the only thing on your list like you can get stock up because i know everybody doesn't have every shoe they want in the world so i mean there's obviously some people that do but like come on now you can get vans they're 60 dollars adidas 80 dollars you can get air force ones those are about 110 120 so you don't have to pay $500 for shoes. You don't even have to get the most expensive pair that you want. You might need to just get a pair of shoes that you need. Like recently, I picked up a black pair of shoes because I needed black shoes. So you could just do that. Or you could just get some shoes that you like, shoes that you want. And then the next thing goes with this, clothes. So recently, I was, I was went shopping, you know. And I was trying to match clothes to my shoes, which is a great idea. So if you have a certain, if you're like missing a certain shoe color, but you have a whole bunch of that stuff in your closet, leave it there, but stop buying that certain color or buy some shoes that color. Because it's like no purpose of having clothes in there that you can't wear with a full outfit. Or you end up wearing it with shoes that don't match. So um, you can buy shoes that match, I mean you can buy shoes that match your clothes or you can buy clothes that match your shoes also clothes even if it's the relative that doesn't know how to dress you know just ask them for a gift card to your favorite clothing store they even have gift cards for fashion nova they have gift cards everywhere honestly and that's just the tea like you can get gift cards for anywhere h&m forever 21 fashion nova Windsor, Windsor has gift cards, all of that. So I feel like that's a good idea. And plus, if you get a gift card, then when you plan on getting something, you don't actually have to spend your money. Oh, um, number three is money. Okay, so some people really do not know how to get gifts. Like you ask them for something, they get the total opposite. So just ask for money. Cause at the end of the day, if you if they give you money, then you could just spend it how you want. And maybe if you, like, thought you needed something, but you actually have it, or thought you needed something, but you changed your mind, then it's not in your closet just taking up space. You can actually buy something that you need. For some of the older people, you can buy groceries, like, you can buy detergent. College students, y'all can buy detergent. Yeah. Um, number four is gift cards. I kind of already mentioned this, but... Gift cards are everywhere. Like, you can get gift cards to Walmart, sis. Gift cards to Amazon. Gift cards to anywhere. Like, even for... Ooh. Even for the kids, you can get gift cards to literally Target. Get all the toys you want. A gift card really helps because then, like, even food places. You can get a gift card to food places. So you're like driving, pulling up, and you just have a stash of gift cards. You just pull out one and pay. Like, and it's not even a struggle. Like, you don't even have to pull out no cash. Like, that's pretty lit to me. You don't have to pay none of your own money. And honestly, it's not any money coming out of your wallet. It's all gift cards. So it's not like you're spending 
twenty dollars, ten dollars, five dollars on a meal. You're spending nothing really, so that's good. Fifth thing is food, snacks. Okay, for my birthday this year, um, I didn't know what to ask for, so I just asked for snacks, chips, candy, Debbie, little Debbie snacks. You can ask for noodles, chicken, pizza bites, pizza rolls, all of that. You can ask for anything, honestly. Like, food is just so universal. Like, and especially if the person knows you really well and they know exactly, like, what type of foods you like. You can get, you can be stacked up. Like, you can get all type of food. And that's really the tea. Like, you can get all type of food. You can be eating good snacks good really you could just be eating good for like a while for real um six electronics this is the one that costs a little more but i also asked for these i asked for a beats pill this christmas or a birthday whatever you want to call it uh so a beats pill is just like a speaker but you can ask for beats headphones oh new iphone i know everybody want a new iphone i personally don't but do you boo okay and you can ask for a new iphone beats a speaker a tv if you need a new tv headphones uh some people want an apple tv you can get that some people want the game you know you can get a ps4 xbox one whatever you like you know i'm rocking ps4 but you know it's whatever okay number seven it's like uh i wish i asked for this robes and pajamas oh my gosh i really love robes and pajamas like pajamas are so fluffy well if you get the fluffy kind i mean i really don't sleep in pajamas a whole lot but like they're just so comfortable and you can just have a whole bunch like if you want to go to a pajama party if you want to have a pajama party like you have pajamas and a robe is just so comfortable it's so convenient like i don't know robes and pajamas robes and pajamas they're just good honestly I personally love a good rope, but you know, that's just me. The A thing is slippers and fuzzy socks. I have my slippers right here. They got something on there. Hold on. I got my slippers right here. I got these from Kmart. I think this is like 15 bucks or 12 bucks, something like that, something around that. But look, those are so fuzzy. They're so cute. They're so comfy like i feel like i could just uh, conquer the world in those and also like they're cute so i can take cute pictures take cute dub smashes because i don't know it's just cute um also fuzzy socks baby you'll be so comfortable like you can wear those even in the winter if it's just cold and you're cold you put fuzzy socks on put on some boots put on some uggs baby you're set for life. And that's really the tea. Like, you're set for life. You're comfortable. You look good. You feel good. I mean, you may not look good. You may not feel totally good. But your feet are warm. You're feeling good mentally. Like, you feel comfortable. And that's all that really matters. Um, Number nine. I know a lot of people going to be like, nah, nah, nah. But a book is a good idea because... For people like me, at school, we have to get a choice book and actually read it. So, you can, oh my gosh, I just thought about this. But you can get a, a gift card to Barnes & Noble and actually get a book. Because honestly, like, books are so, they're knowledge. Like, books are knowledge. Any book you read, you take something out of it. Even if you don't like the book necessarily. And a book is just really good to have. Like, even if you're bored, you don't know what to do, you know, game broke, TV, ain't nothing on TV, YouTube, ain't nothing on YouTube, read a book, why not? A lot of people are against books, I don't know why, I love books, honestly. I'm trying to get that Becoming Michelle Obama book, <laughs> by, you know, Michelle Obama. Uh, another book I suggest, The Hate You Give is really good, um... All Bright Places, I think it's called. It's also really, really good. So I suggest all of those because they're just really good. Okay. The next thing for all of my makeup gurus. I'm not one. Somebody helpful, girl. But number 10 is makeup. 
girl, you can ask for primer, foundation, Fenty. Girl, you can just ask for one Fenty thing and they'll probably get it. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how y'all people work. But highlight, body lava, you can get that. Um, you can get their little fairy dust, all of that. You can get that for Fenty or a baby. You can get any makeup palette that you want. James Charles just came out with one. I know a lot of people like Jeffree Stars, um, Anastasia. I don't. I, I really don't know. I'm just kind of naming stuff. It's really my sister thing. But girl, sis, ask for makeup or even ask for refills. You can ask for a refill. Like you might have your foundation. But you can ask for a refill so when you run out, you don't even have to go back to Sephora looking crazy because you don't have no foundation. You can just have a refill right there. And then you don't have to buy it. You don't have to come out of your pocket or your mother's pocket or your father's pocket or whoever buy it for you out of their pocket. So that's really good. Um, Skincare. Shit. Oh my gosh. I should have asked for this. I need a refill. Like I said, you could ask for a refill or you could ask for more products. Um, I know one really good, I think it's, I don't know, I'm going to start the name here. But it's a really good spin brush. Not proactive. I mean, you can ask for proactive if you want to, baby, but not proactive. It's really good. Um, it's a spin brush. It's really nice. I like it personally because I play basketball, so I sweat a lot. And I needed to get deep inside my pores because I be playing, I be having practice. And then sometimes I have practice in a game. So those days I really needed to get deep in my skin. Um, you can ask for a new moisturizer, a new cleanser. What else can you ask for? Honestly, anything that's related to skin. Like you can ask for rose water. You can ask for... I know a lot of people use rose water. I personally don't, but I've never tried it. You can ask for aloe vera, like the plant, or even the gel if you want. Okay, number 12. I said uh, electric toothbrush. So, I have an electric toothbrush, but I want an Oral-B one. Because, like, the one I have is kind of jank. So, I actually want a new electric toothbrush. Some people don't have one at all, and I suggest getting one just because it makes life easier. And plus, like, sometimes you just be too tired and you don't even brush your teeth right. So, we're not trying to go outside. We're not trying to out here smelling, looking funky. We don't want people to turn away when we talk to them, sis. So, make sure you get that electric toothbrush. You can ask for a toothpaste, honestly. You can ask for all of that. Um... Number 13, I said is natural hair products. For all my natural girls out there, hair products, okay, we run out fast. They don't cost that much. Mm, depends. But we run out fast. So it's like, okay, I'm buying it, I run out, I'm buying it, I run out, I'm buying it, I run out. Until you're spending money. So if you just ask for some natural hair products, cream of nature, um, shea moisture, I can't really think today. Design essentials, all of that. You could ask for shampoo, deep conditioner, regular conditioner, leave-in, moisturizer, all of that. You could ask for exactly what you want, and they'll get it for you, and you don't even have to buy it, especially if you're running out and you're going outside. So um, that's good. For um, number 14, all my art is artiste you can ask for art supplies so art supplies is really a good thing to ask for honestly because a lot of art supplies cost money like oil paint canvas mark good markers good quality markers good quality colored pencils i mean you don't even really need the expensive stuff for my people that's actually trying to sell their art that's actually trying to be like an artist you could ask for art supplies, and they'll probably get it. You could probably tell them what store and all of that. All the stores that you like. Okay, um, number 14. Wait. 15, 15, last one, 15. Okay, number 15. You can really ask for, um, 
all my sports people that are very committed to sports, you can ask for supplies to do that. Like, this year I asked for a new hoop. I asked for another basketball. And I also asked for a football ladder, a footwork ladder, so I could train harder and train better. So um, I asked for those, and I actually got them. So that can work for football people. Y'all can ask for a ladder. Uh, bas baseball people, I know there's a thing for pitchers. You can ask for that. You can ask for a new bat, new glove, anything. So anything that's like sports related, you can ask for that. Track, you new running shoes. You know, you can ask for some hurdles to practice. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but um, you can do all of that. And it's good for you and you're helping yourself in the end. Do your craft and help your dream. So, um, yeah. That's it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Share this video to your aunt, your uncle, and your second cousin. Um, that's it for this video. Period, period, period. Shy girl out. Girl, it's somebody next to you. That's hating on me. I don't know what they telling you. But they don't know me. I can fuck up a tech on you. I got money. Girl, if you know what's best for you, then you will start it.